Hello everyone, Livy here. I'm back um, with the revealing of what this deck is, if you don't know. Um, so as I said in my last video, I recently went to Canada. And it was funny though, this deck was supposed to arrive before Canada ended up showing up literally the day I left. So it was just chilling in my mailbox. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, dang, I could have taken that to Canada with me. Um, I did actually take, oh, I didn't mention that in my other video. I did actually take, um, the Prisma Visions and Cosmo Visions with me to Canada instead. Because they were, you know, they're Tindex. I have the mini version, so they're Tindex. Um, but this would have been cool to take. And let me show you what this is if you don't, if you're not familiar. So, fun fact, this deck actually comes with this bag. Actually, it's a choice between this cool color. Oh, sorry, I'm hiccuping now. Um, a choice between this color and I think a yellowish color. But it also comes with this little card that's kind of bent now. And it says this. Greetings from Man Madam Clara. My wish for you is good fortune and powerful insights. Let's see what the universe has in store for you. Be sure to see all my projects at their website. Um, please remember to share the love with a review. Oh, shoot. I actually need to do that on Etsy. My bad. Um, you can find this deck on Etsy. I will be linking it. But if you don't know already, this is the Five Cent Tarot. Um, this is also, by the way... The second edition. There was a first edition. I don't, to be honest, I don't really know what was changed between editions. Um, I actually saw a video by who was it? Old Soul Mermaid. Old Soul. Old Soul Mermaid. Yes. Um, where she compared the two, and I think the biggest difference was honestly keywords on the cards. But you'll see what that is in a second. But this is the beautiful box. Um, this is not a full, like, obviously this is not a full unboxing, um, because this deck has been around for a little bit. But let me explain why I decided to pick it up. Um, this deck has caught my eye. At first I thought, mm, I don't know, do I really want that? Maybe the cards are too busy. But I was looking for something to pair really, really well with my Coastal Curiosities Oracle, and by the way, this is like almost a perfect match with it. Almost. But it goes really good. Um, so this is a little booklet that comes inside of it. And as you can see, it's a good it's a good size for each of the cards, right? Has a good little bits. Um, the bit I want to explain for people who don't know much about this deck. Um, for one, it changes the names of the um, Minor Arcana. So there's matches, teacups, needles, and buttons. So those would normally be your wands, your cups, your swords, your pentacles. But they renamed it because, as it says, where is it? Yeah, it says it right here, basically. Five Cent Tarot is a fun and whimsical deck loosely inspired by a Victorian-era poster art. Using vintage images and remnants of biological and botanical ephemera, this deck incorporates keywords in the upright and reverse positions. So this is a more vintage-y style deck. Um, and that's why it also made the change um, to the Minor Arcanas. I'm not going to go too in-depth with the guidebook, but like I said, it's pretty good in the sense that it includes pretty good... Um, Descriptions for all the cards. If you're a beginner, though, okay, actually, here's here's what's a conundrum with this deck. I actually do think this deck is good for beginners because it has keywords actually built into the cards. But, but, this guidebook, at least, doesn't have any spreads. So if you were like, mm, I don't know any tarot spreads, you're not going to learn it from this guidebook. Just saying. Um, I'm going to move that aside so you, we can actually get to my cards. Now, fun fact about this second edition is that you get different choices of backs and edging. And I decided to choose the lavender. 
Yes, I went with lavender. I was so divided between lavender and, um, what was it, the robin's egg? But I decided to go lavender because I thought it was so cool and I didn't really have anything like this. Now, I'm filming at night, so this uh, it's not going to show really good. But you can see, right, the edges, they're more pink looking in person, to be honest. But the camera definitely makes them show up more as lavender. And the only other, my only other complaint about this deck, you can probably see, it has like some weird, I don't know if it's like however it was edged or something, it had some weird moments. And it also feels weird. It feels very, um, it feels almost like it was painted on and like kind of sticky and weird because of that. That's my only, that's my only gripe. But let's flip through this deck so you guys can see it. I, it's still in order. Because I literally just like unboxed it for myself and then was looking through the cards for me. Um, but as uh, you can see, this is a fool. So what's cool about this deck, as you can see, is it has keywords. So if you're someone who's like still learning tarot, you can learn a lot from having these keywords here. But what's also cool is that if you reverse it and you like to read reversals, it also has a main keyword and also bits that you will see. The cardstock on this is really good. It's it's on the thinner side, but it's it's a linen. I love linen. And it just feels kind of nice, though. I really like this. Um, but yeah, so that's what's cool about this deck. Is if you read reversals, which I kind of do, so you're able to. But this is the fool. I like this fool. The frog. Makes sense. This magician's also really cool. Um, the magician is one of my birth cards. I think I'll actually... I feel like everybody in tarot, they say that, right? They say, oh, this is my birth card, or this is my... Um, they'll just casually mention that something's their birth card and I feel like most people are just like well what the heck is that um <laughs> and it stems from something I swear it does um I think I'm gonna do a video about that um there's this book I have where I learned about birth cards and how that works with you it's kind of like it kind of ties into astrology but it's more related to obviously tarot than just astrology anyways all you need to know the Magician is one of my birth cards, and I kind of like this spider that's, like, really ridiculous. You see the as above, so below, with the jazz hand gloves going on. <laughs> and it's just kooky. I really like it, though. And I, I'm obsessed with this High Priestess, too. I'm sorry. I love owls. So this High Priestess has everything going on for me. But this is a High Priestess. The Empress. This is amazing, actually. The em the Emperor being a literal Emperor Penguin. I'm sorry. That's... <laughs> I love it. I love that. I'm sorry. And I also kind of like this Praying Mantis as the Hierophant. That makes so much sense. The Lovers. The Chariot. I don't know if I completely like this chariot. I have like mixed thoughts on it, especially with this thingy. I don't know. It's kind of weird to me. This would this wouldn't be my initial thought to pair. Strength. The hermit. And I'm also funny enough, so this is one of my other birth cards. So some people, I, I love how some people, they'll go, oh, I just have one. No, you technically have, like, most people have two. Um, I'm one of those weirdos who has technically, th technically, I have three or one actually acts as a shadow and the other two are really my birth cards. The Wheel of Fortune is one of my other ones, though. And I don't really like this Wheel of Fortune. Not... I don't know. I kind of do like that the monkey is like, see no evil, hear no evil, do no evil, I think. 
Um, I do kind of like that with the Wheel of Fortune, but at the same time, it's just, I don't know, it's not hitting the right notes for me. Um, this is Justice. I love this hangman. Oh, I, I'm obsessed. I don't know why I am. There's a few decks now I've seen or have that have the hangman as a bat. I'm obsessed with the hangman being a bat for some reason. I don't know why. Anyways, um, <laughs> death. Temperance. The devil. I'm not sure about this devil either, actually. I'm going to flip through it faster because I noticed there's already been 10 minutes. I've been rambling. Um, and my phone hates long videos. So this is the tower. The star. The moon. This is a very traditional moon. The sun. This is kind of quirky though. The iguana riding the rocking horse. Judgment. And the world. Now, other cool fact. This deck has four extra cards that are not in traditional tarot. I'm sorry. I love tarot decks, though, that have additional cards. So let's look quickly over these ones. This one is called the Unknown. The Beyond. The universe, infinite growth instead of just the world, right? And the messenger. Really cool cards. And now we get into the matches. Um, I do like all the aces in this deck. I think I really do. Um, but I have to say, normally the wands are some of my faves. And I don't know what it is about the matchsticks that I'm not completely vibing with. Like three of matches, this doesn't tell me as much about going on a, a journey, um, expansion, progress kind of thing. Um, I do like this four though. I like the bees. But for some reason, the wands in this deck make it feel too pippy for me that's the only thing the biggest gripe I would have to say is that I'm not a hundred percent a fan of how the match six were laid out I think this style though is a, someone correct me if I'm wrong here but this gives me vague um Marseille style deck vibes too so maybe it is slightly inspired by Marseille I don't know um but yeah it feels pippy in that way. Page matches, though. The night. This, oh, I do like that there's still a cat in here. The queen. And the king. Um, I do like the cups, though. Like, this is a beautiful ace of cups. I'm sorry. I'm, like, digging this so much. And even the two. I like that it harkens back to the fact that it's connected to the lover's card. That's why there's snakes here. Three of cups. I actually also really like this four for some reason. Although I don't know how the, lop how the not lobster, the crab ties in. The five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, I don't know if this nine works 100% for me, but it's there, it exists, and ten. This one makes sense, though, there's like a family going on, and they're happy. Um, page of cups. Oh, sorry, you might hear like neighbors or something outside. Knight of cups. Queen, I do like that this queen is um, a flamingo for some reason. I don't know why I'm digging that. <laughs> and the king. I don't know. For some reason, the way that this, fit, this uh, fish is shaped 
vaguely Dr. Seuss reminding for me. I don't know why. Hmm. Ace of Needles. So now we get into the needles. Um, I still like this this um imagery. Two of Needles is also a bat. Kind of cool. Three. Kind of like that. It's not the heart. Well, it's vaguely heart shaped, but you know, it's not actually a heart heart. Four. Uh, five. This is an interesting five. The scorpions. Six. Seven. Oh, I didn't even notice. It's like a two headed um, <laughs> raccoon. <laughs> Eight. Nine. I don't know if I do. You, I don't know if I'm vibing completely with this nine of needles either. But I do think the ten makes a little more sense for some reason. Um, this is the page though. I like this page. This knight. This queen, which is I think an albatross. It looks like an albatross. Um, king. Ace, two, oh, we're in buttons, sorry, whoops. Immediately went to buttons and I was just flying by. Um, yeah, these are the buttons. The buttons seem a little, there's something about the buttons too that seem a little, um, I don't know, pivish also very much. Also, the rest of these kind of seem to have a certain vibe, but for some reason, even though I like that's an octopus, I don't know if this would this would have been the right scenery since the two buttons is usually pentacles which is earth but whatever three of buttons um wait a second i just noticed what the heck are those thylacines if you guys don't know what i'm talking about um please feel free to ignore me but that almost i swear they almost look like thylacines um, four buttons, five buttons, six, seven, eight. Hmm. I just noticed this one. I would have switched these two. I would have switched them because I don't understand how the hammerhead is supposed to connect with this. This has more eight energy in my opinion, but maybe that's just me. Oh, sorry. Wow. Almost lost my thing. Um, nine. This is, what is this? Oh, 10. Interesting. Page. Oh, it's a unicorn. Why didn't I connect that last time? A unicorn. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> this is the knight. Queen. And king. So, you're probably thinking, why then did I pick this up? Well, it goes so well with Coastal Curiosities, which um, actually, I feel like I got to show that. Give me one second. Okay, maybe it was more than one second. Sorry. Um, <laughs> let me show you what I'm talking about. So the reason I got this deck is because I wanted something that was like the most perfect pair. Not that I haven't found some decks I like in my collection that work well with the Coastal Curiosities already. But I wanted something that I knew was going to be like a for sure pair. So... This fits with Coastal Curiosities because 
of this. Look at how nicely they just go. Oops, sorry, I'm adjusting my camera. Look at how nicely they just go together. They have very similar vibes. They're just really, they're similar styles. Oh, this is funny because it's a unicorn, even though they technically don't have horseshoes. That's funny how that works together. This is why I got this deck. Um, I wanted them to be really good together, and I was just, I don't know. I was really curious about this one, and I'm glad I picked it up. They even have, like, similar um, card stocks, kind of. Actually, this one's smoother. This one's a little rougher, but they're both like more linen-y. And this is why I chose this deck. Um, they go so good together. And I'm really excited to work with this one. Because their vibes are so close. And I'm actually... I shouldn't be showing all of this because I am actually want to do a video where... I talk about what decks go good with Coastal Curiosities only because, um, I mean, I just finished a giveaway. <laughs> so I want to talk about that. But yeah, that's, that's mainly though why I decided to invest in the 5 cent tarot. Um, and also let's do a check to see how all this deck shuffles. Again, I'm not a riffle shuffler. I overhand. And it's doing good. So, yeah, this, this wouldn't be a problem for anybody. Shouldn't be. Um, and, yeah. Um, if you're interested in this, I will say it is a little pricier of an option. But it works. So, this is the 5 cent tarot. And I hope... You guys liked this. So I will see you again next time with a different kind of video. But bye everyone.